I'm Lieutenant Colonel Dewa Kike, and uh, I'm the Deputy Spokesperson for the Ministry of Defense, under which the Uganda People's Defense Forces fall. Our being here today has been uh, ignited by the operations that uh, have been going on right from 19 last Friday up to now because as I talk now there are other operations still going on related to the same incident. It is an incident that involved a murder case. It is an incident that involved kidnap and when it comes to issues that are of that magnitude you will surely see the jointness of the forces and that every force will have interest. On the side of UPDF, we are using our joint task force, the counterterrorism force, that works closely with all other security agencies, from police to ISO to ESO to all other security agencies. Why? Because you always never know what one incident will lead to. So, the day after yesterday, we had leads from different technical intelligence and human intelligence. Through the coordination with the other security agencies, we were able to apprehend prime suspect and certain evidence which I'm sure my colleague my colleagues institution the police and the prosecution system will use to bring to book to those who are who are at the moment allegedly to have participated in the murder of Francis Ekaruga an employee of Case Clinic Hospital this story, you all know it, started way back on the 2nd of this month, and later on on the 3rd, the Uganda police force discovered the body of the late. And therefore, since that time, we have been working together as a team, <coughs> no matter which security agency you belong to, to make sure that the perpetrators of this heinous crime are brought to book. We couldn't tell where these perpetrators, terrorists abducting our people and killing them. The police could not tell, are these criminals we know we have been running about with? The internal security could not tell, are these people who are aiming at destabilizing the internal security of the country? And therefore we had to come together bring our leads to make sure that we reach to the final conclusion of this matter. And therefore, acting on very precise intelligence, technical precise intelligence, we are able to get leads that led to the arrest of one Mr. Chiwalabie Huzairu by our CMI operatives under the Joint Anti Task Force. Thereafter, after different interrogations and other arrests, it led us to arrest more people, including one Abdul Chitata. Abdul Chitata happened to be a brother to Mr. Chiwalabie Uzairu. Others who were arrested included Mawa Muzamiru. This is a driver to Dr. Seba Lekato, who is the proprietor of Kes uh, Hospital. We had one Tikandi Muhindo and Bismani David. These are Congolese nationals. And it is through them and within the vicinity where they stay that the vehicle that is suspected to have been used by the late 
was discovered. And there are more details that I may not have to give here for the sake of making sure that the investigations are smooth and to enable the prosecution system work without any hindrance. So the vehicle number which was discovered was uh, having number plate UAT764L. Those are not the real numbers of the vehicle, but after verification, we discovered actually the real numbers were UAW899U, which actually belonged to the late. Now, in this operation, there were attempts to interfere with the arresting officers to obstruct justice. Mark this well. Obstruction of justice, we all know that is not allowed, it is criminal, and people can be charged of that. This is where a group of some people, we can't tell from where or from which group, tried to obstruct the arrest of these suspects, including obstruction at top radio, including obstruction by closing roads, including obstruction by mobilizing use, using the media and other foras to call on people to act against the security forces. And I don't think this is acceptable, and the security forces will do its best to make sure you get out of its way. And this is what led to arrest of more other people, over 20 of them. If you so wish, I could read their names. Now, on Sunday, the vehicle was recovered. It's good that it was done in the open. The place was cordoned off as early as 3 o'clock. And later on, everybody saw what was happening because the media was there. So, we are still doing more investigations. Jointly, together with police investigators, CMI investigators, ISO investigators, we are all bringing our clues together to make sure that this case moves out smoothly and to the public expectations. Because we are all here working for the security of Ugandans no matter who you are. What is important is all of us to be safe, secure, and work in an environment that is pleasing for a human being. So, as UPDF, we are going to continue working with the sister agencies to make sure we help each other to obtain this goal. Order, security, law, name them. All are security elements that at the end of the day aim at achieving the goal of having a secure country, the goal of having peace and security. No matter who does this operation, everybody aims at that. So we are continuing with operations. This morning operations are still going on. There are still some people who are still at large that we would want in our possession. And only can assure them, we shall get them. I don't know today, tomorrow, but as long as they are within the world and living, they will be God and brought to justice. Thank you very much.